today, I'll be going over all the removed gadgets and star powers and what was replaced with them that we have in the game today. Let's get into it. First up, we have Surge's Teleport. Surge's Teleport was really unbalanced and it, you could get some insane kills with it. What replaced it, I couldn't find much, but the closest thing to a teleport was 8-Bit being able to teleport to his super. I feel like this is the closest to his as it's a short range teleport unlike Nani's peep teleport. So this one I think fits. Next up, we have Tick's dash gadget. It allowed him to dash forward and drop a mind that dealt 700 damage on impact. And what replaced it today, I couldn't find a dash gadget that dealt damage. However, out of all the dash gadgets in the game, I think Shelly's the best choice for this as she has the exact same length as Tick's dash and I feel like it just fits. In my opinion, Daryl's star power where he could super instantly get all three damage back and that damage would deal 50% more is overpowered because it's basically just Edgar's hypercharge because not only do you have insane reload speed, but you also deal more damage. So at one point, Daryl basically had Edgar's hypercharge as a super. I can't imagine how unbalanced the meta was. We're going back to the OG OG Brawl Stars with this one. Let me know in the comments down below if you remember this, but basically whenever Poco would die, he would let out a wave that would heal brawlers when he would get killed. And this one was really hard for me to find out. However, the closest one to it I was able to find was Spike's Life Plant, because when it's killed, it heals you, just like when Poco was killed, it healed you. Here we have Mortis's Creepy Harvest. Now, I know it was revamped into a star power where he would heal a thousand instantly and there wouldn't be the spirits on the ground, but I feel like that would just be a little bit boring. So I tried to find a brawler that was like him and it reminded me of Gus instantly. Because with Gus, when you hit three attacks, your fourth attack will drop a little ghost on the ground, kind of like Mortis's old star power. And obviously these two ghosts will heal you and your teammates. Next up, we have Gene's pat on the back star power. When you'd use your super on an ally, it would it would pierce and heal 2,000 damage. And this one was another hard one to find, but I think Poco's the closest one as he has a piercing super and he heals a substantial amount of HP. Next up, we have 8-Bit's extra life star power. When he would die, he would just respawn. Like how crazy is that? You could abuse the solo showdown gas. You could be a game changer in gem grab. But the closest one to this, I'd have to say Doug's hot dog. It's literally his star power, but in a super you could use on anyone. Here we have Mr. P's tin can. Basically his porter base would have 3000 extra HP. And what reminded me of it was Jessie's hypercharge as it gives her little build a thing an extra 3000 HP, which is pretty good. Here we have B's honey coat. Basically you get a cheat death by having one HP and a shield. And this one, I thought Bull would be the best, as when he gets low, he also gets a shield. And not really any brawlers do that. I don't think anybody else does. But so I feel like Bull is the best for this one. Here we have Gale's star power that when you used your super on allies, it would give them a speed boost. And this was a really good star power. As for what it relates to today, I gotta say Max is super, as it's just like Gale's star power where you could give your allies a speed boost. I don't know why they removed Gale's old star power, as it was pretty good. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot and it shows me that you enjoyed this type of content. See you in the next one.